Hey folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to be with me today uh, and watch the video. We've got uh, a video today on X-Lights and I'd like to uh, remind you to please go to xlights.org. Click on the donate button to help support the wonderful software that you are currently using uh, and hopefully for your show in 2017. So with that being said, today's video is on X-Lights and what I wanted to talk about today is the challenge of running your sequences in X-Lights, actually not running them, but continuing to do the work in multiple computers. So one of the things that I have been using for about six years now, uh, maybe a little longer, is the, uh, is the program Dropbox. So I have Dropbox, that's uh, www.dropbox.com and uh, I have a, a significant number of uh, files that I've saved on my Dropbox. So the Dropbox is a cloud storage service that is provided and it is a free download and you have a, a, a limited amount of free storage that you're able to purchase or that you're able to use. Now you can purchase additional storage for, for more storage needs and I actually uh, for the first time began uh, subscribing to the uh, larger software bundle um, back last fall whenever I started doing a whole lot more work for uh, clients that are uh, across the country and it, making it an easy way for me to share their work for them instantly and which was super helpful whenever it came time for them to load that then into their show so um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to walk you through kind of what uh, Drop, uh, Dropbox does for me and how it works with X Lights, and not only that but to show you if you don't want to use Dropbox and you just want to transfer the uh, files from X Lights into a thumb drive then you can do that as well so first we're gonna start with uh, with with how Dropbox works and once you go ahead and and uh, make your Dropbox download and you create a folder in in your Dropbox which I have uh, this one's called Nutcracker I've been using it for a number of years and uh, if I open it up I've got all of my X lights related files loaded into it now it also has uh, it, it also has all my backups and so forth saved on it so um, whenever I turn on Dropbox on any one of my computers it will automatically uh, upload any changes or additions or deletions from my Dropbox onto that computer. So for example whenever I do sequencing for uh, let's say deck the rooftops uh, whenever I whenever I update the sequencing for it um, it will automatically upload that sequence data to the Dropbox cloud and then any other device that's connected to Dropbox and is live at that time will receive the update in the bottom of, of your screen it's not on this screen but there's a little Dropbox over here and uh, it tells you uh, certain files have been updated or you can click on it it also tells you some of the files that have been recently updated so uh, what's nice about the Dropbox is is that it automatically changes this per every change that I'm doing here currently on this desktop. Now my show computer which is uh, on the other side of the room at this time is not uh, powered up at the moment because it has no need to be powered up but if I were in show mode right now let's say the show was running and I wanted to update some sequences I could do it on my show uh, my my desktop computer here and then save it and whenever I render and save the FSEQ file gets updated well then over on the other computer on the show computer that data is actually updated and played immediately so it's really nice um, to have the Dropbox because whenever I have my X lights open I have my X lights show directory connected to this Dropbox and that makes all of my changes instantaneous whenever I am doing anything with my show uh, with that being said, now let's say you don't have Dropbox and you just want to take your data t uh, from X Lights on your sh uh, on your desktop computer and send it to your uh, send it to your laptop. So first, I'm going to simulate that I am plugging in a brand new thumb drive, and this is my thumb drive. Okay, and from this thumb drive, I'm going to open it up into this folder form and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the uh, I'm going to select 
the exact files that are necessary to recreate the sequence that I'm working on let's say here in my desktop if I have a sequence on here let's say I've, I've I'll go ahead and open it open a sequence <clears throat> So we've got this sequence that's open here and I'm working on this sequence and I, I, I want to take this with me on the road today. So what I would do is I would, uh, I would obviously save my sequence that would update the data and then I would find that sequence. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, but you're looking for the sequence name and the XML file. Now I have sorted my file types by uh, file type that is and uh, I just find the XML file there's another file that's similar to this it's called the um, it's called the FSEQ file uh, they'll have they'll have an ad identical file name for the uh, song that you're doing or the sequence that you're doing with an FSEQ extension that's not necessary the FSEQ file is only used to run on the Falcon Pi player, the sequence, and also to run on uh, the XLite scheduler. So let's scroll back down here to our XML documents, and whatever sequence it is that we want to move over, all we have to do is right click and copy and paste into the new location or into your thumb drive. So then if we once we have the sequence over there we also would like a, probably a good idea to, to scroll up and I have my mp3s right here uh, what did I choose what child is this so that starts with a W what child is this I would right click on the seek uh, on this uh, mp3 and I would uh, copy and I would paste so now we have two things down. We have the sequence, the XML, and then we have the MP3. And then finally down here, we have the last two folders that are the last two main um, items that we need, which are xlights underscore networks dot XML. We would copy that and we would paste. And then we have the RGB underscore I'm sorry, xlights underscore RGB effects dot XML, right click, copy, and paste. And those are the main ones that you need. Now, I've also made a video on the key bindings file that you can, uh, I'll go ahead and open this up and you can have a look at it with Notepad plus plus wherever that opens at which is right here. This is a, an updated key bindings or shortcut keys for all of the effects you can look in the X lights group or message me if you would like a copy of this I can send you this file uh, and this is a shortcut for every single effect a key is used and you can open it up and look at all of the uh, shortcut keys this is your key so to speak and uh, if you if you use those shortcut keys then of course you want to right click and copy and paste the key bindings effect but the important ones are once again the important ones are your network x lights networks x lights rgb effects the sequence.xml and finally your your song or your 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 mp3 so what we can do here is let's go ahead and let's uh file let's close this close this sequence and let's go to setup and change and we'll go to my desktop, which is where I saved this at. And we're looking for a uh, new folder right there. And we'll select that new folder. And we should have an exact replica right here. We should have the exact layout. And now if we open up, we should only see one sequence that's available, which is this one. Now, you might have to uh, change the... the uh, the media directory we can I can do that I can link those two because that's I put the media file there and uh, we can go to the sequencer and we can render and I'm pretty sure that uh, that this sequence will play just fine as soon as it's done rendering I don't have this snapped up here this is this, there's a lot of sequencing in this I think yeah there's, there's there we go and uh, if I were to hit play and 
There's some music, and there we go. So, there it is, folks. I hope this video has helped you uh, create an exact duplicate of a sequence. I hope that uh, it's walked you through the steps one by one to get you to be able to uh, uh, open up your files and be able to select the files that you need in order for you to copy and paste. Once again, I highly recommend Dropbox. It's an amazing piece of software. Once again, it's free, and uh, you can pay for the service if you want, but it's not necessary when you're starting out. I certainly do a lot with Dropbox and a lot with some other clients. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, folks. Thanks for taking the time to be here today, and uh, go out there and have fun with X-Lights. Thanks, guys. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.